Artificial intelligence is absolutely everywhere and takes many different forms. One of the most popular forms is the large language model or LLM. The large language model is a super awesome tool. The issue is, at the moment, there are a ton of large language models, literally hundreds of them. How do you know which ones are the best? How do you know which one is right for you? Do I have to use 70 different websites to access all these different LLMs for all these different tasks? Ah, you see, the answer is actually no, because today we're going to be diving into ChatHub. This is your one-stop LLM shop. It's got everything, all of the major models, you can even add your own custom models. And as you can see by this interface, you can compare up to six chatbots at a time, which is pretty awesome. All the LLMs you'll ever need, all in one place. Now this is a good time to mention that yes, this video is indeed sponsored by ChatHub, but don't click off just yet. First of all, I want to make my intentions very clear. Any sponsored video you'll ever see on this channel is checked off by me. I would not show you guys or display you guys something that is not personally recommended. My goal is to never waste your time. I always try to find something genuinely useful for you. Now, right off the bat, I want to dive deeper into ChatHub's standout feature, the cross-validation of a bunch of different LLMs all at once. For example here, I can come up with this random prompt, something that really pushes the LLM's creative limits. In this example, we have, write me a hyper-creative story of a lemon space explorer who stumbles upon a Wild West-themed planet. I've got six LLMs here, ChatGPT, Llama2, Claude2, Mixtral, Gemini, and Perplex. Click the send button, they all get sent at once, and we start to get our results. And you can see which ones are faster maybe, which ones are a little bit slower, which ones write more, which ones have more creative themes. I can cross-examine all of these all in one place. So for this theoretical example, maybe I like the name that's brought on by Gemini, I like the setting that's brought on by ChatGPT. All these different various bits and pieces of the story can be combined into one, and essentially, I can use the combined power of all of these different AIs at once. And here's what's pretty cool to all. Pop open a brand new tab, go back to my old one, and as you'll see, they have these little quick copy settings. So I could just click this, paste it into my new one, and go through all of these LLMs. So all of this information can now go directly into GPT-4 Turbo, all on the same exact website. And by the way, I know all six of these generations should be going into GPT-4 Turbo because, well, I've tested GPT-4 in comparison to other large language models inside of ChatHub. So we'll give our instructions here, cross-examine and write out of 10 each of these individual stories with the blurb on each one's positives and negatives. So not only could I directly compare them myself, in this example I'm showing you that you can use AI in a compactive way through ChatHub to greatly increase the efficiency of your AI tasks. Giving me some overhead on each individual story, I can see that, you know, this Lemonade Luna one, by perplexity nonetheless, seems to have the highest rating of 9.5 out of 10, at least in GPT-4 Turbo's opinion. Let's take it a step further. Take the best elements from each of these stories and combine them into one perfect story. Upon my own first glance, it looks to be pretty darn good. So if you're interested in this actual story, I'll have it read out with some images generated by Dolly3 at the end of the video. Oh yeah, and just, just get a little bit deeper on this interface. Up top, we have the all-in-one interface. We can compare either there are two LLMs side by side, three LLMs, four, and then six. And we've also got image input, and of course, that's only supported by a limited number of large language models. So for now, that's only ChatGPT, Bing, and Gemini. Going back to the left-hand side here, if we scroll through each one of these individual bots, you can chat with them just as you would with ChatGPT, for example, but they're all in the same exact place. No need to go from website to website. And what's pretty cool, too, is that we still have the functions of sharing our conversation. We can, of course, clear our conversation or just view overall history with a very convenient search function, which is something that I desperately wish regular chat GPT already had. Of course, that little tab can be slid to the side there for a more compact view. As you can see by my head down here, we've also got a little prompt library. If we click that, it gets brought up. 
and we can see we have our own prompts that we can create and share or a vast selection of community ones that are pretty useful for a bunch of different reasons. We've got a plagiarism checker, we have Excel sheet, travel guide, storyteller. Unlike a lot of other AI prompt websites, these ones seem to be very diverse in terms of what they offer. We have, you know, things like Gaslighter, for example, which is just comedy, right? Just, just something for fun. But then we have something that's actually really useful, like Doctor chef, accountant. So while we might have a little bit more limited selection of prompts, we have a very diverse selection and I've definitely used a few of these pre-made prompts from the community a number of times and they've worked well with little modification. Prompting is really important and the reason for this is actually pretty simple. A lot of times with LLMs, whether they're Google, Bing, Meta, what you put in is what you get out. A good prompt can go a very long way. So having something pre-baked in like this can can really be helpful. Direct access to quality prompts without sitting there and typing them and thinking them up yourself. And of course you can use the prompt generator to get even greater efficiencies. Now moving over to the settings is where things get really interesting and this is where I get really excited to tell you guys about it. As you can see right off the bat we have a plethora of chatbots to choose from that all work directly inside of ChatHub. I don't have to go to any other websites. They are all just right here for me. And I can flick them on and off with these little switches and then save settings. So if I only want to use chat GPT for whatever reason, I can only have that one on. But again, the diversity is awesome here. We have a really great collection of strong LLMs that are popular in the community. Obviously, you're going to have your open AI here. We have chat GPT, which has GPT 3.5, which is the free version of chat GPT, or we can have GPT 4. Now to access GPT 4, you will have to have that chat GPT plus subscription, but it can still all be used inside of chat hub they also have a po mode too which gives you again free gpt 3.5 and then for post subscribers gpt 4 access so whether you have chat gpt plus or po you get access to gpt 4 and even if you don't have chat gpt plus you can still get gpt 4 inside of this thing and we'll talk about that in a little bit but of course the free google gemini is also in here which is pretty awesome we've also got the anthropic claude 2 and again this can also be configured with the free web app mode, free access to Claude 2, and in Po mode, they have a few other older Claude models. Again, access to Bing, and you can configure it to be the precise Bing, the balanced Bing, or the creative Bing, which is awesome. Lots of customizability right in the settings. Perplexity AI, which is super cool to see. Mixtral, which makes me really happy. Again, this is one of the best free open source models. And I mean, most of these in here, Pi, Vicuna, don't require a subscription. Something like Grok, for example, this is only available with exclusive access through Twitter. So you have to have a Twitter account and you have to be subscribed to Grok, which is like $20 a month or something crazy like that through Twitter. So while you absolutely can use Grok inside, you actually have to be paying for Grok through Twitter. But yeah, the list goes on and on. There's a ton of different large language models you can all pick from. Personal favorites of mine, obviously going to be GPT-4. Gemini's pretty darn good too. Mixtral's always awesome to have a around, so is Claude. This seems like a pretty good stack. So, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you can also have custom chat models. This could be from any number of APIs. It's a little bit more complex to set up, but if you're used to it, it's really not too difficult. And as you can see, I did set up with an API key through OpenAI, a GPT-4 Turbo chatbot. Now, the reason you might want to do this is, for example, you don't want to pay for ChatGPT Plus or the Poe subscription, and you just would rather pay as you go. Well, you can input your GPT-4 Turbo key in here and you will get access to a GPT-4 Turbo pay as you go system through OpenAI and you can directly compare to GPT-3.5, Gemini, Bing, all of that right inside of chat hub so it's just awesome this gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more freedom to play with and compare all of your chatbots you'll also notice that some of these models here have the ability to access the web so let's say we wanted to compare claude and chat gpt web access look up the current price of bitcoin for example we've learned from this direct comparison if you want to use web access claude might not be the best bet i don't know if bing has it built in either let's try it again. Oh, hey, Bing was also able to pull it up. That's pretty awesome to see. So yeah, you still get some of those core LLM features like image recognition, web access that you would get inside of your ChatGPT Plus subscription, let's say. So let's clear up these conversations. 
I'll upload a real photo that I took and say, critique this image. As you can see, the photo is uploaded to all of these APIs. Gemini has given us some strengths and weaknesses. ChatGPT is also giving us a result as well. And finally, Bing also gives us a result too. Now again, guys, showing you the effectiveness here of having three simultaneous bots all analyzing the same image, pop open a brand new tab of ChatHub with our ChatGPT, copy and paste all of our results in, and then write our prompt to this specific GPT. Based upon these three analyses, what can we improve next time in our photography? Again, we're taking the concentration of three separate large language models and putting it inside of one for an overall smart analysis. And there we go. We have some pretty nice reflections on how to improve our photography. And I just think that's pretty darn cool because you can't do that anywhere else. I mean, you could go separately to all of these and grab them out and then compare them but it's so much easier just to have it all in one place. Now guys, let's get to the more difficult, shall we say, part of all of these review videos, talking about some of the cons and of course pricing. Now I have to admit, there's a lot that I like about ChatHub. There's not too many cons to list. However, here's a few notes that I definitely have. First of all, in the settings, I really would like to be able to pre-prompt each of these chatbots individually, or what is often referred to as a settings prompt. I will say I like a lot of the UI, most of it, but I think the view history UI is a little bit clunky, so maybe I'd like to see something a touch cleaner. And I think I'd also like an easy way to search all of my chats, everything, all at once. Now, we also have to bring up the fact that we don't get access to something like custom GPTs. That's something that you can only get through OpenAI's Chat GPT Plus. So while I don't blame ChatHub for not having it, because how could they? It's just a marketing factor that might play into some of your purchasing decisions. And purchasing is another thing. You can actually get started with ChatHub for entirely free, which is awesome to see. ChatHub more or less is free and they just have a premium option, which is actually a really nice to see premium choice. Now, here's the cool thing about ChatHub. There is no subscription plan whatsoever. You don't have to pay monthly. It's a one-time license. Buy once, use forever, which I love to see. I haven't seen a single AI product thus far take this kind of approach to their payment plan. You just buy it and you own it, which is awesome. It's really refreshing to see in any industry and especially in the AI one. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever seen a buy once use forever style deal. $35, I don't think that's too bad, honestly, especially if you're going to be using this for work. But since you're a Matt Vid Pro viewer, you can use code Matt at checkout for 10% off. So click the link down in the description if you want to get that exclusive deal. Like I said, it's buy once use forever. So that is way, way better than having some subscription plan you have to continuously pay for. And again, I think the utility of this really, really is there. It's a nice interface. You can compare a ton of LLMs at once. It's updated regularly. The only large language model interface that really competes with this, I would say, is the chat GPT one. This thing's a serious headache saver and a real efficiency optimizer if you use large language models all the time like me. I mean, seriously, you can't go wrong here, especially with they buy once used forever license. But again, guys, that's just my opinion on the matter. We'll see how large language models evolve over time. Right now, they definitely have their own strengths and weaknesses. One might be more creative. One might be more logical. One might be able to handle more text. So it's really awesome to be able to have access to all of the great features all in one place. Thank you so much to ChatHub for sponsoring today's video. Really appreciate it when we can just get awesome sponsors on the channel like this one. Super useful. Definitely something I would probably already be making a video about for you guys. Sponsors help make this channel a reality, but of course nothing makes this channel more of a reality than you guys watching. So thank you so much, I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye.